for the Huskers. They're gunning for a top four seed in the NCAA tournament to host through the regional finals. But it's not just if they win, it's how they win. Penn State relies on their great block, so much so that they are second in the entire country with over three blocks per set. Kubik, a veteran six rotation player, leads the team in kills, and she is crafty. She can hit all shots from anywhere on the court. Lonstein, she's a power hitter. She has a quick arm string, which provides her a lot of strength, and she's really good at finding those gaps in the block. Nebraska's been throwing in what we call gap go. So they're overloading where you have a middle going up as well as a quick outside shot. That makes it really tough on the opposing blockers to figure out which hitter that they're going to commit with. Cadel is best off of one foot. So when Cadel's in the game, you're going to see her run a lot of slides and what we call floating ones in front. So it's not a typical quick set from a middle. She's going to be coming from the left side of the court, running into the setter to go off one foot. What is Nebraska doing better in this set than they were in set one? Well, they're digging a lot more balls, and they're also touching balls on the block, which is so important. It's not just being able to get those big stuffs, but get quality touches to allow your defense to put the ball in a good situation and run an in-system offense. Cash Williams does such a great job tracking these slide hitters. Watch her mirror the slide. She's making the exact same movements as Raven Colvin is to get up and get in front of her to take away the angle that Colvin wants to hit. Michigan runs what we call a 5-2. So they have one setter play the front row, Scotty Johnson, where she's able to get great dumps like that. And then when she moves back row, she'll serve, and then Maddie Dowd will come in for her. I saw you were getting picked on by Goldie Gopher last weekend. Goldie was getting after me. He was throwing popcorn at me. Yeah. Getting all in my hair. That's uh, one of the occupational hazards of the job, I guess. You have to deal with mascots. You know what it is? I think because they can't be caught. A big block and a fantastic read, Whitney Lonstein. It's so difficult to block those gap sets because you have to make a decision as a right side blocker whether you're going to come in and help on the middle or stick to your outside. Great read coming in to help with the middle. Emily, why is it so important that they're serving into where the traffic is? It makes it really difficult on communication because you have to talk so much more when there's a lot going on on one side of the court. Communication is key. That was fast, but Bree Kelly all over it. Bree Kelly was faster. She tracked her hitter. It was a perfect pass situation, which is typically the only time this Wisconsin team goes to their middles. Great eyes. She watched the setter, look at Danielle Hart, and then stepped one way to Hart to finish off the block. Because Keith is a lefty, she's able to hit those crazy cross-court cut shots. She's able to turn her thumb down, which allows a different spin on the ball, which makes it so hard to block.